Shalom, shalom, shalom. Peace, blessings, health, and wholeness be it unto each and every one of you under the sound of my voice. Shalom. We want you to know that you are, as you are following the Most High, Yah, hallelujah, that you are blessed with every spiritual blessing in the Shamaim, heavenly places, in Yahshua. That is the promise from the Most High Yah, recording in Ephesians 1 and 3. You are already Baruch, blessed. You are a Baruch, blessed people of the Most High Yah. I don't care what anybody says. That's what the Word says. Hallelujah. And in 2 Kiefer, 2 Peter 1 and 3, it says, The Most High Yah has given each and every one of us all things that pertain to high life and Elohimness. So we have everything we need. We are equipped by the Most High Yah. Isn't that good to know? We welcome all the 12 tribes all over the world. We welcome people on our conference line. We thank you that you are here. We welcome all the people on our live stream platforms. If you would like to call into the conference line to join the conversation, just call 918-203-9992. We are here every Shabbat, every Saturday at 8 a.m. You can also feel free to go to YouTube to hear all the messages that Yah has specifically for you. Just go to YouTube and search for Yah's original perspective. Hallelujah. If you would like to contact the ministry, Our contact information is on the About tab on YouTube. Feel free to contact us at any time. We welcome all of you to another experience in Yah's Word, Yah's Original Perspective Ministry. What does that mean? It means that we live in Yah's house We live by Yah's rules, and we follow Yah's statutes and commandments and laws. In short, we do things Yah's way. At Yah's Original Perspective Ministries, we take heed to ourselves, according to 1 Timothy 4 and 16. Just so we're on the same page, We read mostly from the Hallelujah Scriptures. And we do that because we want to be as close as we can to our native tongue. However, feel free to read from any Bible of your choice. We prefer to use the Hallelujah Scriptures or the Hebrew names whenever possible. Therefore, we call God Yah. Y-A-H, because the Bible says in Telahim Psalms 68.4, his name is Yah. And in Yachanan, John 5.43, the son says that he comes in his father's name. So we call the son Yahshua. Can you hear the father's name in the son's name, Yahshua? I can hear the Father Yah's name in the Son's name, Yahshua. When we blow the shofar, I want you to think about the miracle that happened on Mount Sinai in Shemot, which is Exodus 19, 19. And it reads, and when the voice of the trumpet sounded long, and wax louder and louder. Moshe spoke. Moses spoke. And Yah answered him by a voice. 
The shofar serves as a reminder to us about what happened on Mount Sinai, and it reminds us to commit more to the Father, our Father, Yah. And it reminds us of all the promises that Yah has made to each and every one of us. The Bible says it like this in Telahim, Psalms 103.2, forget not all his benefits. So we're going to have the blowing of the shofar, and after the blowing of the shofar, we're going to have a cote rose powwow pray, and then we'll hear from the voice of Ak Maurice with the Damar, the word. Hallelujah. when I was resting before this uh, Baraka to bless us, is um, in Yeshaya, Yahoo, or Isaiah 60, verse 1 and 2, it says, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the esteem of Yahuwah has risen upon you. For look, darkness covers the earth, and darkness clouds the people. But Yahuwah, he arises over you, and his esteem is seen upon you. May Yahuwah bless the reading of his word. Hallelujah. Abijah, we come before you with a humble and grateful heart. We first repent for any sin that we have done in word or in deed. We also come with worship and praise and thanking you for this is the day that you have made and we will rejoice in it. Shabbat, hallelujah for Shabbat, hallelujah. To rest, 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 hallelujah in you, hallelujah. And we ask that you will be in our midst and we thank you for your loving kindness that we are not consumed because of your compassion. Oh, your compassion. They have not failed. They are new each morning. And you are so great. And you are faithful. Hallelujah. For your faithfulness. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. They taught us. And we ask today for your wisdom and revelation and insight. And Baruch Pat Maurice as he brings forth the word. Give us an ear to hear the Shema. Shema means to listen, hear. Hallelujah. Incline our hearts with understanding. Now I speak crop failure to any demonic seed planted in our dream. I ask that the blood of Yeshua to flush out anything that is not of Yah. Thank you, Abba Yah, for the cleansing power of your son's blood. Hallelujah. And we give you all the honor and praise. And Barak, all the listeners, and we thank you for them all. Hallelujah. Let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O oh Yah. You are our rock and Redeemer, hallelujah, and let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. In Yeshua's name, I pray, hallelujah, Pharrell. hallelujah, I mean. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Peace.
peace and greetings to everyone that is present on this spot. All my oxen, nebiyas, and nabis, and kotes, peace and greetings, and also to the strangers that listen to. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about family, just a little bit about it, and a Pacific family, and that's uh, us Hebrew Israelites. Now, there once was a, there there once was a, a, a disconnection in the family amongst us Hebrew Israelites. Now. I say once because I declare the things that I want to see. That means that that is something in the past because today that we are aware or I have accepted the ways, the will, yours, hurrah, for our lives. So I say once was that we had a disconnect in the family. And because of this disconnect that it caused a family breakdown. Now, I'm going to go to where it first took place. And y'all may be familiar with it. But you know, the way I the way that it, it comes to me is that we have to go back and identify the cause so that we'll be aware of that cause and as we travel forward that we never repeat what we have done in the past. So I always go back to the beginning. Now, I'm going to go to Bereshit. As y'all know, it's Genesis. And I'm going to only read from the fourth chapter and the eighth verse. Now, prior to that, we know that uh, Adam and Hawa, you know, basically uh, disobeyed what the father had told him. You know, Hawa was deceived and Adam just plain out disobeyed because the order was given to him. So now, after everything, you know, all the punishment were handed down and you know, the judgment came upon what Yah had told. So now they bad children. And I just want to read this right here from the fourth chapter. And I'm going to start here at the eighth verse. And it said, And Quayen told Hevel, which is Cain in English, and uh, Abel in English. But in Hebrew, it's Quayen and Hevel. His brother, he said, come, come, let us go into the field. And it came to be when they were in the field that Koyin rose up against Hebel, his brother, and killed him. Now, that is the first documentation that we have before us known of murder, of brother, a relative, a family member. Now, now this here came about because of what the parents had done. Adam and Hawa, which y'all know to be Adam and Eve in English. And so what Quayen had done, he was the first one to display, display a long effect of a form of death which has been passed down even unto this day. So this is a continuation of something that transpired over thousands of years that enter into us all, you see. And what happened was, because now you got to remember, y'all told me, he said, if you do what's right, he say, you know, would it not be accepted? He say, but, you know, sin is knocking at your door and waiting 
to devour you. So it was a, he had a way out. You see what I'm saying? But he chose not to. And normally that we get in a situation where, and I'm just sticking in the family members right now because it normally starts, that's where it started before we go out into the world as you, you know, that we have these discords amongst each other and we have a way out. But because we are so succumbed by whatever the, whatever the issue that took place at that time got us and we feel that we have to you know make that person feel what we feeling or justify who we are uh you know i'm i'm bigger i'm better all these different types of things whatever it is we don't listen to it so now by that what Quinn had done he opened up a door first time because prior to that, none of these things was going on until the fall. But a door had opened. And what came forth from that door was three leading spirits. And I don't want to, you I don't, I, you know, when I say Ruach, to me, that's, that's talking about Yah, you know. So I just use spirit um, for, you know, the... Uh, the, the, the English term or the Greek term for which, you know, the words came out of. So I'm going to use that as speaking of that when it's talking about uh, that that is not of Yah. Uh, so that's what happened. Three leading spirits came out from what happened. And they are known by the name of Envy. Envy. We're going to go to Envy. Now the first time mentioned that I have seen in my studies of the word Envy is over and 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 you go you yo and yo, which is Job. And so we're gonna go to the fifth um, chapter. And uh, y'all know I flip pages. I'm a bit late enough. <laughs> so that's where we're gonna go. The fifth chapter, and I'm just gonna read. You know that verse there, and just you know just give y'all some identifying marks of it, uh, where I first seen it mentioned of the word envy. Which is a whole is in a whole lot more places, but the word is still the same, which is Kanan in Kana in Hebrew. So we're going to the fifth chapter, starting at the uh, second verse, which says, "For wrath kills the fool." Y'all heard that? For wrath kills the fool. And envy slays the simple. So your wrath gonna kill it kills the fool because you're gonna be foolish in your wrath. And it gonna and it gonna slay the simple, the simple minded. Somebody that's not, you know, you 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 simple, you 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 have no control of yourself, you know. Simple minded. I, you know, I remember they said, Man, you simple minded. You know, you can't think beyond. You're out of control. Now, so envy is one of those leading spirits. Yeah, we, 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 we find ourselves uh, envying, and we think we have control of that, but just out of nowhere, it'll show its face. Now, the same thing came came forth from that door. The the second one we got is jealousy. And the funny thing about it, so these here it seems like twin words in the Hebrew language because the same word as quana and um, for, for envy is the same for chalice. So now we're going to go over to Bed Midbar where I first seen that one um, displayed, which y'all were called numbers. So I'm giving y'all um, identifying markers where, you know, where it was first to appear. And we're going to go over here to Bad Midbar, Numbers, Chapter 5. Chapter 5. And verse 14. And it reads, matter of fact, 
my this is what I wanted y'all to know when I when I did uh, write that down when I was talking about the spirits, all right? It said and a spirit of jealousy. So I'm not just making it up. I'm letting you know that these are spirits, you know. So it said and a spirit of jealousy comes upon him and he becomes jealous of his wife who has defiled herself or a spirit of jealousy comes upon him and he becomes jealous of his wife although she has not defiled herself now in that particular um chapter there um that in that on those verses there it was talking about that a husband has suspected his wife of infidelity and stuff like that and you know us men you know out of nowhere something will cause her to be jealous of our significant others you know it's it, it's just something that you know a certain look or maybe somebody may you know, look in the direction of her or you know whatever it is you know she may get all beautified and she normally don't do that. Just certain things. I don't know, man. We live in the real world, you know. So, y'all know whatever it is. It is something that probably will invoke that jealous spirit. And you may be like, man, I've never been like this. Why? Why am I even feeling like this? You know, I found myself in that situation before. I'm like, I don't even be jealous like that. So, what in the world is going on? You know, so. Uh, like I said, that that was that was the first mention of the word jealousy, and also as it being a spirit over that meant by which is Numbers five fourteen. Okay, and so now that's the second one. The next one that came forth was hatred. So now we had envy enter, jealousy, and hatred, which. They, they all produce each other. They all produce each other. You know, I sit and I have conversations with, with my Nebiyas and, and our coaches, and, you know, we have our private conversations, stuff that I often sit there and say that, you know, you know, because we wonder, like, why, why do every, almost, well, I'm going to just say every ethnic group or race of people hate us like i mean we feel like that what is the problem with us like you know they say that we do this so-called black on black crime and all this stuff most of the crimes is committed uh, uh against us you know what i'm saying but they never sit there and say that we go and do these things towards them so if we are not perpetuating any trespasses against them so why do you hate us so much which you know in previous psalms um, sessions that we don't have previous Shabbats in, in our lessons we have found out because you know we are the children of Yah. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We know, you know, we just got out of line. Our and our forefathers and four and foremothers got out of order. So but before that we didn't know. And it's a lot that has not um it, that does not know that they are Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? Because they go uh, upon these misnomers, which are, uh, are uh, labels, which are uh, copyrighted and, and patent that belongs to its creator, like Negro, Black, Color, African American. You see what I'm saying? Which is kind of funny to me, because if my grandmother and grandfather were Negroes, or, or colored, or colored uh, you know, oh, and then the next, my, my mother and them become Negroes of color, and then we become black, and then later on our children become African American. Make help, help me make sense of that. You know what I'm saying? It's just something you know I'm thinking about. It. Like that really doesn't make sense because uh, if my whatever my foreparents were, that's what I am. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I am. And then in my house, I never heard them call me none of those those corn terms. Never. You know what I'm saying? Never. They never said when I came through and, and, and became of the age of understanding that they said, you know what? You was a Negro. You know what I'm saying? You was a, a color. 
use a, a, a black or use an African American that we never, it just never happened. You know, I heard other people calling us these things and it really didn't resonate with me now. So now those three um, spirits came forth, as I said, because of Kohen, Kohen, what he done to his brother. And so this has continued to take place. And the word for hatred in Hebrew is sane. Sane. Hatred. And I looked at one of the words that they have in there under the word for hatred in Hebrew. It said um, leading astray. And the Hebrew, well, I just told y'all what the Hebrew is like, leading astray. It's just weird. Yeah. So now I went and pulled up for Miriam Webster um, Dictionary to give us some, you know, a little more clarity on, like, what is these two words, you know, dealing with, you know, envy and, and jealousy. And it says that envy means discontented, a longing for someone else's advantages. Remember what I said, now, why, if we're not perpetuating any crimes amongst these people, and, and, and it's really like the internal of family dispute because that's what our problem is. We're having family disputes to the point where it's getting brutal and violent where we're taking each other's lives and stuff, which is bad. It's not right. You know what I'm saying? Even in the animal kingdom, and I know we sit a little high, we sit just above the animal kingdom, but they have, you know, arguments and stuff like that. Stuff. You know, we could disagree with each other. But when we're talking about shedding each other blood, harming each other, that's where the problem come in at. So we can agree to disagree. So now, like I said, this is this is what 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 um the web the dictionary said. It said that envy means discontented, longing for someone else's advantages. So you sitting there looking at what somebody else got and, or, or or what they are, you longing for that. Because you feel that that is an advantage that you do not have. So that's what envy is. It draws that envy into you, like, you know, that, that envy spirit. Now, jealousy, it says, means unpleasant suspicion or apprehension of rivalship. So now we get into this, you know, you, you feeling threatened because you are insecure about yourself for the person. And I like to use the word being anyways, you know, because the scripture talking to say beings or, or living, uh, ne uh fesh, which they say soul. I, I don't be too much into the person stuff, but anyways. So this person seems to be uh, a threat to you. It don't it, it don't challenge your your uh, mentality or or what have you. You know you feel like it's a rival, and it may not even be. It just the spirit of jealousy has entered you. And it's funny, you know. I'm gonna say this. You know, Michael Jackson made a, a song about the spirit of jealousy. I can't quote uh, everything in it, but I just remember that when I thought about the word jealousy, to being one of the uh, the three. So now, they entered the world seeking a host to embody, right? Connect with, or even attach themselves to. And guess what? You have to be a willing participant. You know, it's like you have to give it permission to embody you. You know what I'm saying? I give you permission. Now, we're going to go over here to Matthew Yahoo. As y'all know, it's uh, Matthews. And let's see what it say. And that's going to be the 12th chapter of Matthew Yahoo. I know y'all familiar with it. Y'all familiar with it? But there ain't nothing wrong with being reminded because sometimes we put it in the file cabinet. And you just have to bring it back to the forefront. Allah Yahweh. No, y'all agree because I praise him. I praise him. I'm telling you. I'm going to climb on over here on this side because that's where it's happening at. 
y'all don't see all these things going on around y'all. Just the other day, you know, I respect other, I respect these religious institutions because it has nothing to do with me. I'm 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 I'm, I'm with y'all subscribe to y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're 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 not a religion. This is a culture, a way a way of life. That's what this is about. And here over y'all's original perspective, what we're doing, we're going back to the beginning and we're going, I mean, we 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 focusing focusing in closely on what is being said, conveyed to us, and we're applying it to our lives because we do truly accept and believe that this is y'all's word. This is his instruction for us to navigate these this plane I am, you know. It can't do nothing but help you. It can't hurt you. Keep you out of the way. So we 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 commit ourselves to y'all. So like I said, we're going over to uh match y'all. But what I was gonna say about, you know, I just seen some up in New York where these people sitting here, which y'all already know about the Charleston thing, when the people went over there and got um, shot up those nine people inside the church. You see what I'm saying? Then just this week I believe the same incident it, it, it's an incident what happened up in there where they went inside the church and robbed the pastor. You know, when I was growing up, I never heard of these things. You know, I never heard of these things. But as I stood in the history that, you know, the, the Crusaders and all these people went and did the same thing. You know, they they, they did, a, they put out an ethnic cleansing thing uh, back in the, the days, you know. And they were going around massacring the people that had their own culture. And whatever their their belief system was, you know, their cultural system was, and if they did not accept, they was gonna kill them. So they forced other their beliefs upon other people. Now I'm not making these things up because I do study stuff, and, and all you have to do, you might not want to know the truth. You might want to stay in the dark. You might want to. You might want to stay ignorant. You know. Because you may be afraid of what you will find out. But I don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? Rather the truth, the truth will hurt you. Guess what? It, it going to make you free. Turn off these TVs. And if you're not utilizing your cell phones or computers to, um, to, to enhance your mind, and it's a waste of time or promote your business and stuff like that but other than that just idle time I remember coming up they always say uh, I, uh, idle time is the is should turn on his, uh, playground uh, idle mind of course I see that to be true Matt to Yahoo 12 chapter and I'm going to start at the 43rd verse and it says, now, when the unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places seeking rest and finds none. Then it says, I shall return to my house. This thing don't look like in the world. This thing don't say here and said claim, don't put his name on, on you. I'm going back to my house. So it has authority. Like, that's mine. I'm going back to my house. It's, it's, and it says, this is what it says. Like. I should return to my house. Like, you know, when y'all go to out, you know, wherever y'all go at the work, school, uh, hang out on the park, whatever. You Wherever you go. And when you're done, you say, I'm going home, right? You say, I'm going back to my house. I'm going to, you know, going to relax. What happened? And that's what this thing is. He said, I'm going to my house from which I came. And when it comes, it finds it empty. See, this one, y'all don't clench it up. You know, you good. Swept. Decorated. Now, you don't peek then. So what in the world going on here? You know, we when we was in there, we had a ball. We had a party going on. It was crowded. But somebody came in and kicked us out of here. The bouncers. Yeah, we called them the bouncers. Y'all, y'all came in and got up out of there. Because, because what happened, you was up in there saying, I'm tired of being like this. 
I'm tired of going through this. Help me. And you know, y'all love her so much, I'm going to get my child. My child crying out to me. Made me think about when, when Stephen, when they were stoning him. So he stood up. He, was, he cried out. Yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to help my child. My child crying out to me. Because he already told us we cried to him. That's what he going to do, right? So he cleansed you up. And then this thing came back. He said, man, this this, 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 this looks better than what it was before. But check it out. On 45, it says, then it goes and takes with it seven other spirits. More wicked than itself. Got double trouble now. And they enter and dwell there. And the last of that man is worse than the first. So shall it also be with this wicked generation. Hey, let me tell you. Y'all might not believe it. Or maybe you do. But just open your eyes. Now there was a time when them elder, elders was around. I'm talking about before, you know, they don't transition on over. But they kept people together. Grandma, Grandpa, and them. They kept people together, you know. You always can call on them, and they always give you a good word or whatever and tell you, baby, it's going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? Don't lose your faith. And so then you grow up with that in you, right? And then somewhere along the line that somebody done tricked us, and we started bearing these children. You see, because we were dibbing and dabbing, playing and playing. And so now what don't happen was from that plan and don't got cleaned up and all that and these things don't enter back in and not keeping the, the principles of what the elder, elders that went through prior to us had established and we said we're going to go do our own way which you can do certain things, but you can't give up the basic principles. That is the foundation, which we have done. So now, with those same little things don't enter up inside of you, you begin to uh, bear out, bear children. I'm just going to keep it real. We start to bear those children. Now, is those children of the seed of Yah, or of those children of the seed of Shatan? And I'm going to tell you, when them people draw the drugs down in the community to wipe us out, because everything they throw at us, we throw it back at them. You know, when they gave them, when they brought them drugs down in the 80s, those children was left to fear for themselves because pastors stopped preaching and, and, and teachers stopped teaching. And mothers and fathers stopped being parents and uncles and aunties stopped being co co-parents under the father and the mother those children had to grow up and what they grew up under was um, hardship right they grew up under hardship man I remember this was the same way. I remember when I was sitting in the house you know we didn't have food to eat this is this is the children and I'm telling you I bear witness I seen children I literally seen how people walking around like zombies I seen that as a child. I grew up saying that, you know? So that's always going to be in my mind because I seen human beings, y'all's people like the walking dead. And then these children was there being separated from their homes. And if their grandmothers didn't get them, they were going into foster care. And then what happens then? You see? So now these children grow up. And guess what they did? Because their whole mindset was from the struggle that they went through, right? So now what is happening, you have a different people now, right? Most of them turned out there to go to sell drugs and all these different things, get involved in the rock, you know, crime and all this stuff here. And, you know, it was a lot of stuff that took place during that time. This was a new people here. They ain't here. They, they talking about Yahoo. You know what I'm saying? Who is y'all? You know? 
we ain't, we ain't have no food. My mom was out on drugs. My daddy was out on drugs. You know, my grandma didn't want us. You know, all these, whatever the hardship was that those children grew up in, that what they, they was, that would raise them, you know? So then guess what happened? Those children had it. You see? And straight lawlessness. And I'm talking about the those spirits inside of them. Lawlessness. And then they going to connect with another being that is lawless or what have you. And they're creating their own, they're creating a whole new being. You see what I'm saying? So this is a whole new, a whole new people. So we don't understand like why. I mean, we didn't grow up like that. This is what we say. It wasn't like that with us. That's somebody else now. You see? And, and that's why everybody is confused about what in the world is going on. And then now it's even worse because of the simple fact that they throw all this materialism in their face. They sit back and say, man, I am, hey, I ain't like my grandparents. No, they was poor. I'm talking about, I, you know, I hear out they mob sitting there and say stuff like that. Man, them people was weak. They ain't got all this here. They were poor. They're like, what really, uh, what really determines your, your wealth material? Because guess what? If that's the case, everybody that's in existence right now, when they hit that grave, they are what? Poor. They ain't taking none of it with them. And then everything that they have made on this side came from y'all anyway because they had to use y'all material to make it. It belongs to y'all. Y'all better wake up. So this is what this spirit said. Now I want to go over here. Uh, McQuire. That's Luke. I want to hear how Luke said it. <laughs> I want to hear how Luke said it. And that's going to be the 11th chapter in the 24th verse. And we got to wake up. I'm serious. I'm passionate about that because I'm, you know, I never thought I'd sit here and, and bear witness to this type of stuff. You know, I really did. And it, it's, it's sad. It really is. It's sad. We, we care nothing about life. We don't care about each other. And like I said, it's some new people on this line on, on, running around here now. They totally different from you. And you may push them out. You know what I'm saying? But something else got them. Something else got them. Don't think that people don't change. Because they do. You might be sitting there looking at y'all. You know, you probably have seen a child grow all the way up. And, and was close to you inside of your family, you know. And you still look at that 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 adult as that was that little baby girl or that little baby boy, you know. Until one day they be like, you know, I ain't that child no more. You know what I'm saying? Or you see something that they're doing, they be like, dang, they really don't grow up. We got to wake up. People transform into, you know, what's in them. The choirs, Luke, the 11th chapter. And I'm going to start at 24th verse. As you know, he just bear witness to what Matthew Yahoo said. It said, when the unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places, seek your rest, and find it none. He said, I shall return to my house from which I came. And when he comes, he finds it swept and decorated, right? 26 say, then he goes and takes with him seven, seven. A number is given him seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they enter and dwell there and the last of that man becomes worse than the first so definitely you know all of you who have uh, know that you are Hebrew Israelites and our theme is that now that you know you're Hebrew Israelites now what now that you know, you know, you have been given another chance, you know. You have been given another chance because we need it in these times to stay close to y'all. That's our help. That's our help. Now, like I said, these spirits have only, they only have one mission. And that uh, mission is to further the works and building of Shatan's kingdom. That's that's their mission. 
that's their mission. Now, we're going to go over here because, you know, I like my witness because I didn't make that up myself. I didn't know nothing about that prior to me reading the word, right? Yeshayahu, as y'all know to be Isaiah. I'm going to go over here and validate what I'm sitting here saying. So, I'm going to say Mari just said that. Hey, I just read it. <laughs> it's, it's in the word. Yeshayahu. And we're going to go to the 14th uh, chapter. Again, that is in English, Isaiah. And I'm flipping pages, y'all. Because I always do. That's what I do. Uh -oh. That's the 14th chapter. And y'all might say, well, you know, that don't mean, that don't mean that today. That was way back then. But guess what? There's patterns. That's right. Pay attention to yourself. You know what you do? I challenge you to shut down all electronic devices. Oh, like just, just shut in. Find your quiet place. Maybe 10 to 20 minutes a day. You know, start out. Just sit there quietly. Don't say nothing. Don't, don't let nothing disturb you outside of yourself. I guarantee you got a whole bunch of know what's going on in your mind. That's because <laughs> over the course of these years, you've been picking up all these voices. But you can control that. You can shut all that down. Just keep going to your quiet place. After a while, you're going to be able to restrain it. They're going to gonna, they, they gonna cease. Right? So, yes, y'all, Isaiah 14. 14 chapter starting at the 12th verse and it says how you have fallen from the Shamayim which is the sky or heaven right Shamayim in Hebrew oh hell hell and I know y'all probably say morning star well actually hell Lucifer probably say um, Lucifer hell son of the morning you have been cut down to the ground you who lay low the Gentiles, and Gentiles mean nations, right? In Hebrew, for you have said in your heart, let me go up to the Shamayim, let me raise my throne above the stars of heaven, right? And let me sit in the mount of meeting on the sides of the North. Now you see, this is what she does. He said, I'm going to, I am going to exalt myself. I'm going to raise myself up above the throne of Elohim, Yahweh. That's what he said. So that's what I'm telling you. There's only one mission. And we should have only one mission alone our church. Keep on uplifting y'all. Keep on trusting y'all. Because Shaitan and his 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 um demons, what have you, and 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 he, and human beings <laughs> that is being embodied, that is doing his bidding in the physical realm. Because they have to embody something tangible, right? He's building this kingdom. Just look around you. Look around you. And y'all may open your eyes. You may see that we really live in a desert. Just maybe. Might pull the wool, the scales from over your eyes. And you might see this thing in like pure black and white. Like, whoa. It's, 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 it's nothing of life running around here, right? So now, I'm going to tell y'all, there's some things that y'all dislike, right? Y'all could turn to Mishle. Mishle is what y'all would call Proverbs. Right? We got to get on over here and get a little bit of wisdom, right? And we're going to the sixth chapter. And I'm going to start at the 16th verse, right? 
and it says, These six Yahweh hates, and seven are an abomination to him. Right? A proud look. A lion tongue and hands, hands shedding innocent blood, huh? And a heart devising wicked schemes, huh? Y'all should get happy. I'm going to tell you why you should get happy. Because we know that there's a people that's for sure 100%. And I don't care. I'm not getting into texture. I'm not talking about jacket. Cause they can look like you, 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 and you. Whoever you, whoever listening, they can look like you, right? These people. That's part of Shatan's kingdom, and they coming up with these devices, right? Y'all say he hate them. He hate that. Then it's an abomination. And us being on y'all side, guess what? We all right. Because we hate them things too. And we know we got the blood on the dope hose and he would not allow none of these things to scum us, right? Right? Allow y'all what, right? So that's what he said. He said, a heart defies wicked schemes. Feet quick to turn, to run to evil. Not, <laughs> not turn away from it. He said, run to it. Oh man, they down there, they down there fighting. Pew! Ah oh, man, let me put them on World Star. Let me put them on on social media. You know, happy laughing, laughing. Do y'all not hear these these, man, these people? It's wicked, wicked. I'm telling you, they laugh at at, at hurt. Somebody could be sitting there getting beat crazy, they're going to turn it into a joke. He say, feet that quick to run to evil. A false witness breathing out lies. And one who causes strife amongst brothers. So yeah, you, you sitting there causing issues amongst brothers. You you tearing up family. The yards, you yards are unified. He's, he, he's, a, he's a unifier. He's not an uh, individualist. You know what I'm saying? Even when he said, I'm going to separate the sheep from the goat. You know what I'm saying? And David right there talking about, I'm the goat. I'm the goat. Yeah. You're yeah, going into the, you're going to be burnt. Uh huh. Y'all don't know these people sitting here playing with y'all. Y'all got to remember these people are operating in the spirit of Shatana. And y'all think it'd be lingo and it's cool as if you're going into the lake of fire. You have to be, you're going to be purged. Yeah. Yah is a unifier. He believes in unity. Not individualism. And so I read some somebody to my how to how to determine if you in a cult and all this stuff here and they had all these different things, Gnostic, groupism and all that stuff that you, you see what I'm saying? That's that's dumb. You might as well start working. Or whatever it is that take more than you because you're a part of a group. When there's th there's three people. So how is that a coat? I, I mean, I, the, the simple things just be, I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> and one who causes strife amongst brother. Yeah, y'all is big on that down. He said, my son, watch, watch over your father's commands. All right. And do not forsake the Torah of your mother, right? So, I'm going to go over here and read another one. I just, you know, Michelet, Proverbs. We're going to the third uh, chapter of there and starting in the 31st. Uh, and it reads, we're talking about envy. Do not envy a violent man and choose none of his ways. But a perverse one is an abomination to Yahweh. And his secret counsel is with the street. The curse of Yahweh is on the house of the wicked. But he brought the home of the righteous. You see what I'm talking about? Come on, man. I know you got to love that. You 
got to be tired. I'm talking about just tired of being tired. You want to see, you, you, you're just tired of every time you turn on the TV and all these things. Look at this. You're going to see these things because we know that you turn on this thing, you know. But you're going to have to get around people that have that, that y'all mindset, that want to that wanna live that y'all life. And they ain't talking religion, period. We're not talking about religion. We're talking about a way of life, a culture. Somebody else came and told us religion. This is called religion. Come on. Let me read uh, Telahim, which uh, y'all know it to be Psalms. And it's the 37th Psalms. Right? It's the 37th Psalm. It says. Y'all, 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 y'all ready? Are y'all ready? I hope y'all ready, you know. This should be encouraging to you. It says, Do not fret because he evil doers. Do not be envious of the workers of unrighteousness. For they soon wither like grass and fade like green plants. Trust in Yahweh and do good. Dwell in the earth and feed on steadfastness and delight yourself in Yahweh and let him give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to Yahweh and trust in him. And he does, he does it. He, just, he does it. And he shall bring forth righteousness as the light and your right ruling as midday. Rest in Yahweh and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prosper in his ways because of the man doing wicked devices abstain from displeasure and forsake wrath neither fret only to do evil for evildoers are cut off but those who wait on Yahweh they shall inherit the earth yet a little while and the wicked one is no more y'all remember Yeshua has said that the meek shall inherit the earth, right? But it said, yet a little while and the wicked one is no more. And you shall look on his place. But it is not. <laughs> You'll be looking for it. But the meek one shall inherit the earth, see? Y'all be talking that crazy. Oh, you know, that was the Old Testament and all this stuff. Yeah, come on, man. Wake up, people. Don't let these, don't let, don't be fooled. Wake up. Israel, wake up. Wake up. It's saying delight themselves in plenty of peace. The wicked plot against the righteous and Ganesh's teeth at him. I remember that. Yahweh laughs at him. He said Yahweh laughs at him. For he sees that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn the sword and have bent their bow to cause the poor and the needy to fall. Y'all hear that? To slay those who walk straight. Their swords enter into their own hearts. Say that out there. They're going to turn around on them. And, <laughs> I about to say so. and their bows are broken. Better is the little of the righteous one. See? See? What you call the Pope. Get out of here. Then the riches of many wicked. It said, Better is the little of the righteous one than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked are broken, but sustains the righteous. Yahweh sustains the righteous. He sustains them. Yahweh knows the days of the, uh, of the perfect, and their inheritance is forever. They are not ashamed in a time of evil. And in the days of scarcity of food, they are satisfied. <laughs> Allah Yahweh. But the wicked shall perish. You see what I'm saying? And the enemies of Yahweh, like the splendor of the, the uh, metals, they vanish. Gone by. See you later. I ain't crying for you. Because you're wicked. Like smoke, they vanish away. The wicked borrows and does not repay. 
Y'all wake up. Just wake up. Pay attention. But the righteous one shows favor and gives. See what I'm saying? For his Baruch ones inherit the earth. I mean, bless y'all. But those cursed by him are cut off. The steps of a man are ordered by Yahweh. And he delights in his way. Though he falls, huh? he is not cast down. For Yahweh is supporting his hand. I have been young and now I am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken. Or a seed begging bread. All the days long he is showing favor and lending. And his seed is for a baraka. Turn away from evil. Come on, Israel. And do good. And dwell forever. For Yahweh loves right ruling. And does not forsake his kind ones. They shall be guarded forever. But the seed of the wicked is cut off. The righteous share in the earth and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous speak wisdom. And his tongue talks of right ruling. See, righteousness, you're talking about the right thing. The Torah in his Elohim is in his heart. See, we have that in our hearts, y'all. We have the law of y'all, uh, y'all's word in our hearts. His steps do not slide. The wicked is watched, watching for the righteous. See, they be watching. You know? See, that's what I'm telling y'all. They talk about you. And is seeking to slay you. See? What is it about them? We got to find a way to get and stop them. You see? Yahweh does not leave him in his hand. All we got to do is turn back, y'all. I'm telling you. Under one voice. Under one heart and mind. Groupism, not individualism. Or let him be declared wicked when he is judged. See what I'm saying? While on Yahweh and God his wait on I apologize, wait on Yahweh and God his way. Excuse me. And he shall exalt you to inherit the earth. Wait on Yahweh and God his ways. And he shall exalt you to inherit the earth. That's verse 34. When the wicked are cut off, you shall see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a native green tree. Yet he passed away. And see, he was not. And I sought him, but he was not found. Watch the perfect and observe the straight. For the latter end of each is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The latter end of the wicked shall be cut off, but the deliverance of righteous of the righteous is from Yahweh. Their strength in time of distress, see? Just, you know, you, you have these things laid on them, and Yahweh helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they Look, took refuge in Yahweh. Hala Yahweh. Hala Yahweh. Hala Yahweh, which means praise Yah. Look, I hope this is that there was comforting to you, reassuring, you know, and 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 sparks. I mean, inside of you, and you know, I mean, if this if it did, it, it, listen. Like I said, Israel, we got to turn back to y'all on the one voice. Look around you. Everybody can't go, though. I'm telling you, everybody can't go. Everybody ain't going. But for those of you that are willing and want to, turn to y'all. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, praise the most high, Yah, uh, for that message, uh, Maurice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. I'm going to read from um, Colossians 3 and 2. And you were talking about the mind. So it says, Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on 
the earth. Hallelujah. We have to be living, hallelujah, far above, hallelujah, not thinking about things on the earth, hallelujah, not thinking about comparing ourselves to other people, because that is one of the ways that envy comes in, comparing ourselves to other people. That's one of the ways that envy comes in. And you you read from Telahim as well. Hallelujah. So have you or anyone on the line ever loaned money to people and they never paid it back? Hallelujah. What did the Bible say about those people? Hallelujah. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to let you read it and let you say it. Hallelujah. Because I'm not saying it and Aunt Maurice is not saying it. It's the Bible that said it. Hallelujah. But we have to definitely get envy out of our system, out of our lives. Don't compare, hallelujah, ourselves to anyone. Hallelujah. Just follow the leading of the most high Yah. Anyone with any comments that they want to make? Uh, did you enjoy the message? What did you enjoy? Any scriptures you want to add? You're all unmuted. Feel free to come forth now. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Now, listen, it was very beautiful. My mind went back uh, when Maurice was saying about, you know, when y'all done clean you up, done got Satan out, and then you, and he ceased to come back. And he come back seven times. And my mind went back, and uh, once, once you got done clean you up, and he don't came in and evicted uh, they turn. When he done evicted him, and when he returned, you're supposed to be able to stand and, and tell him, say, we don't have no opening here. You got to go somewhere else. You have to rebuke him. Need the blood because he's coming in a whole different form because I'm, talk, I'm speaking in that spirit. Because it's sure you surrender all to the Almighty. Satan get busy. Because he don't want not, not us to make it in. He don't want he don't want you to make it in. He wants you to go down with him within the judgment. And see the judgment start the day you learn about Yahweh. When you begin to worship Yahweh to the judgment, people turn, well I got uh, I'm going to be judged when I leave the face of earth. you be judged right here on the face of this earth. Hello, y'all. By your works. Hello, By your y'all. Works. Tell By it. By your works. This is where the judgment starts when you learn to do the righteous things and, and, and refuse not to do the righteous things. The judgment is out here. People tell, well, we're going to be judged in the end day. Oh, no, 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 no. The end of your day is, is when you go to the grave. And then the spirit be judged. But you got to get this thing right on this side, on this side. And we, the, uh, the scripture said that we walk in heaven and places here on earth. So as we seek, as we seek y'all's face, we begin to step in heaven and places. You see what I'm saying? And truly say, get busy, busy. A little incident happened here. I, I rented a, a couple of rooms out, and the next thing I know, somebody called me to my, they say, you right now trying to get fresh with the, with the young ladies. Ha <laughs> ha! Me. <laughs> I said, look at Satan. No guy started already. Don't know nothing about me. My mind, my mind ain't on no, ain't on, ain't on no woman or nothing like that at the present time. I'm worried about my soul. I'm worried about what's gonna happen. How does this old flesh go back to the dust? Come on, you know y'all. We, you know, this, this ain't just words speaking. This, this is a spiritual walk. Now people got to open their eyes and and and, and, and stop looking at. Uh, Looking at what this person has done and that person has done and how that forgiven spirit because the same thing as uh, Maurice was saying. 
like 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 the scripture was saying. He was just speaking the scripture. You know, you got all these different spirits of hatred and, and, and envy and all these different spirits. These things are lies. Words is a lie. You can kill a person just 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 like putting a gun, uh, putting a uh, bullet in his brain by speaking words. You can kill a person with words. You can kill words. Want. You, I love you, you can have them, you can have people just going all, all kind of ways, just like, okay, look all these kids committing suicide because they're being bullied. People tell them you don't look good. See, they don't got, they don't got, these kids, St. Thomas got these kids and these adults also looking at the word and thing. You don't look good. You don't this. You don't that. You ain't got this. You ain't got the right pep tennis. You got on cheek. You know. These are things that Satan is doing. I'm so glad. I am so glad this day. I never forget when I, I know y'all get tired of me talking about that young man, but anyway. <laughs> but anyway, I remember when Maurice was a little boy when they first came out with Reebok. Oh, back in those days I was making a lot of money. I always go down and take him shopping and you know. We was at uh Pueblo Beach Mall. I said Honey, you want your pair of Reebok? I was looking at me a pair of Chuck Taylor All Stars, you know. I said, I'm going to get me a pair of All Stars. I don't, I don't know nothing about no Reebok. Maurice looked at me and he said, I don't need that. I want me a pair of Chuck Taylor. He said, I don't need no Reebok. I'm just sure. I'm just saying. Now, if he'd have been a tight word about, about uh, uh, the fashion, you see what I'm saying? Fashion, fashion, what these people are selling have caused so many of our kids today have lost their lives because of fashion, because people putting them down, putting them down, saying, you ain't got this, you ain't got that, and still saying, baby, come on, uh, be thankful for what you got. And all the time was ready to be, be thankful for what they got. They were worried about all this fashion stuff. You understand what I'm saying? So what we got to do, we, we got to pull this thing together. You know, we got to get serious. It's all right to talk this thing, but we got to also got to practice. We got to live up to the expectation of what Yahweh will have us to do. You see what I'm saying? And be happy. Because oh, uh, truly, uh, Satan is coming back. Once once he cleans you up, he comes. I, I'm speaking of this spirit. And Lord knows. And then people say, back because the world is jealous of you. They're jealous of you. How do they make it? Why he got the smile on his face? He got a glow to him. He got this. Or once he clean, clean your heart, what did they tell her? Mosaic said, said when he came down off the mountain, said they had put bells on the face. The, the light of uh, 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 Elohim was just shining so bright on him. You see what I'm saying? And they were blind. But that's the reason they had put bells on him. They couldn't just look on him. Mm-hmm. And see, the same thing. Because I remember uh, 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 when, when we would say, when I, when I was walking, walking up right in holiness. They used to say, oh, man, say, your face, your face glow. You just look so happy all the time because he brings joy in your life. You don't mm-hmm. let the things of the world uh, 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 distract you. They're going to come, but you can rebuke it. Yeah. You can rebuke it. I am uh-huh. grateful to this. I am grateful. The word was so beautiful. The word was so beautiful. I just loved walking off into the spirit when, when, when he was talking. I was off in the spirit with him. You see what I'm saying? Ooh, I feel good, y'all. I love y'all. You got to, you got to reach out the ground, just saying, reach out. See, see, I, I, I remember it coming to me earlier this week. As I, as I was saying, uh, I've been sought under the weather, but that's all right to him. All right now, though. But uh, 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 I remember somewhere in the, in the script that said that who would have a friend and said, 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 said angel or, or Satan. One of the saints were trying to pray, and the, and the angel they was up there wrestling. He was trying to keep the prayer from going through. Uh, I'm trying to think of that scripture. Yeah, that's in Daniel. Yeah, and and, and and see, sometimes we got to reach up and grab our prayer and pull them too. Got to reach up and grab that, grab it. Oh, thank you. You got to reach up and grab it sometimes. Got to reach up and snatch it back from the devil, from Satan, Satan. Reach up and grab your prayer and pull them to you. And just tell you, thank you. Please, the blood of Jesus, the uh, blood of uh, Yahshua, and keep on going. You see what I'm saying? Because, you know, this thing is serious. And and, and I'm... I'm Sometimes. And just sit back and meditate. And, and go back on 
on your life from, from poor as you can go back. Go back on your life sometimes. Poor as you can go back to bring yourself up to date and see where, 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 where Yahshua done brought you. See where Yahshua done brought you. How was ever he done brought you. You got to go back and look at your life and see your blessings. You got to count your blessings. A minute don't come this way and done go. It had opportunities didn't take. But we had opportunities and take the advantage of the opportunity. You see what I'm saying? And truly, I tell you, it's a blessing. The word was, the word was well spoken, well told. And this is what, this is what, this is what. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up in his word. Don't be ashamed. For y'all shall live, for y'all shall die. You see what I'm saying? But we never die, we transition over. <laughs> we don't never die. We just transition over. Allah, I just want to say that, leave that with you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Allah, Yahweh. Allah, Yahweh. Anybody else? Allah, Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh. Awesome message. I like the breakdown, how you started in the beginning, where the door was open for those uh, unclean rules, um, unclean spirits. I like how you put it out. Yeah, yeah, we, when we use uh, the Ruach, we refer to the most high spirit. And then the other spirits, we're just, I mean, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how you broke it down. Hallelujah. I just enjoy it. Okay, I had a conversation with uh, a Kote, Pam, we were talking about the spirit of jealousy and everything. And I'm like, wow, he is, it does, this is the Ruach, I could just. He can do you about, you know, the spirit. And, I mean, I just really enjoy um, the message because it's just, you know, like uh, Daddy said, or uh, RFS said, uh, he, he was just touching on everything. He was in the spirit. It was like bringing me in, in the Ruach also because I tell you, you hit the nail in the coffin. And I'm just like, you know, I'm just like overwhelmed and, I just love that word. It was just so edifying and feeling in my ruach. Hallelujah. Just I'm going to listen to it again. Hallelujah. I'm going to listen to it again. But I just wanted to touch it, you know, when he was talking about, um, you know, uh, the things he was saying, I wanted to add to it. It's all um, it's in um, Yana Hands 1. Uh, verse, I mean, what chapter is it? Uh, chapter 2, verse 15 and 16. It says, But love not the world, nor which is in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him, because all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, it is not of the Father, but it is of the world. So I just wanted to add to that, you know, that. Praise God. You know, we, we got to look on the things above, like uh, a cocaine mini set, you know, out through the Word. The Word is so good. It is, oh, man, it's, I got me some food today, real food. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, well. I mean, just wait in that Word. It was just so good, so good. I just loved how you broke it down, you know, from the beginning and how it continued and how our structure of us, it, you know, has been broken up, you know, we need unity, they have taught us to be individual instead of coming together as one, as Yeshua was saying, you know, it's one, he is the head, and we're the part of that body, but we're just so divided, and we need to come back, and come and get these spirits cast out, that's the main thing. We're not talking about, we got to cast out these demonic uh, things within us so that we can be clean, like you said. So, and stay clean, stay in that word, cut the TV off, like you said, hallelujah. Cut off these devices, bringing these spirits in too, and let's meditate on his word. Yes, let's meditate on his word day and night. And you will be transformed, hallelujah. Be ye yes. transformed by the renewing of the mind. Oh, praise God, hallelujah. And I say, Allah, Yahweh. Yahweh, Allah, Yahweh. You know, yes. I, I, I ask y'all, I'm like, I, I don't know what to bring forth, but 
you're going to have to, I want you to give me what you want your people to hear. And so that's what it was. So, you know, I take no credit for that stuff that I, I don't take no credit for. I don't have no agenda, anything like that. My intent is not to uh, miss, um, use y'all's word, deceive, anything like that there. And, you know, I just ask y'all to allow me to bring his word that he want everyone to, uh, that he want to hear and receive it and Hey, that's what it is. You know, you know, I got to go back and hear it for myself. I never know what I said to him about it anyway. And I, I definitely uh, appreciate all you all so far that came forth and, and, you know, just shared your piece. Is there anybody else that want to speak? Um, yeah. I have a question. Um, I first of all, for say, Koda or bring forth that message. Oh, it's just confirmation to many things. <laughs> Let me see, where do I begin? Um, with the three spirits that were unleashed, you know, due to Cain's action, you know, he activated a generational iniquity, you know, yeah, of, tell it. of our brother. That's right, tell it. So, if you have those, um, Free spirits, it leads to you being prideful, you'll lie, you'll murder, you're very wicked and evil, you'll cause strife and division, you're very deceptive, delusional, you'll gossip, <laughs> you know, it ushers in, you know, a lot of other spirits, we'll say. And the one thing that was standing out to me was when we read the word, we read a lot of times we start reading in our um, natural, natural state, you know, in our emotions. We'll start reading scriptures and say, um, I would feel this way, or I would be this. And we have to stop injecting, you know, our emotions when we're reading scripture, because the word is rockable. So when we approach the word and read, we need to read in the Ruach and not in the flesh, you know, because you don't get a clear understanding of what Yah is saying because we're inserting our emotions and everything. So, I have, have some other stuff, but it sort of, you know, left me. <laughs> <laughs> and as you were talking, yeah, um, about the 80 or something and the drugs, Yeah. Uh -huh. 
to release it. That's right. Have that was the other thing okay. I feel. <laughs> that is so true. Uh, you got to be a willing participant. <laughs> Anybody else that want to come in and share, uh, bring a, a, a scripture or something that y'all have laid upon them that they feel like uh, they need to, you know, share with us? And, uh, I have a um, book. Uh, name of a book that was introduced to me many years ago, and you may want to read it. It, it talks about, it's, it's a handbook on deliverance of different types of spirits, and it's called Pigs in a Parlor, and they do have it on uh, Amazon. So if you type in Pigs in a Parlor, the book will come up. It it really is a uh, informative uh, book. So that's what I have to say. Anyone else before we end? Oh, I just want to thank you for reminding me about that book. So I'm gonna go back and look in it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Absolutely. Book. Yes. Yes. All right then. Well, praise y'all. I wanna um, I wanna call RF by by his office. Hallelujah. So I'm I'm calling RF <laughs> Naba Yah, prophet of Yah. Hallelujah. So he stands in the office of a prophet. So I'm calling him by his office. Hallelujah. So we thank everyone for participating today. Hallelujah. We have enjoyed being with each and every one of you people on the live stream. If you want to join us for our next segment, which is Table Talk, then you can dial the number and it's 918-203-9992. And we're going to ask uh, uh, Maurice to close us out. Hallelujah. Allah Yahweh. Allah Yahweh. Allah Yahweh. Thank you again for another Shabbat that you have allowed us to come together in unity, in your word, in your presence, humbly. We thank you for all those that came forth, that decided to participate and share what your word done for them. We thank you for all those that listened and didn't come forth, but did receive your word. We thank you for them too. We thank you. We just, you know, I, I, I just can't go into a whole long thing with you, y'all, because you already know, you know, you know, you know, you know. I thank you. We thank you. We ask you to continue barocking us. Um, here over at y'all's original perspective, as we depart from here, allow us, you know, we just ask you to, the, 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 the lead and guide us throughout uh, our daily lives. Look over our family, friends, and, you know, uh, keep our enemies at bay. And wherever that is troubling us, we know that you will take care of that. So we thank you again until we come together again in your Kodesh name, Yahweh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. <laughs>